today we're going to be doing a felting wool um, keychain and this is a big panda. It comes in this packaging. Don't mind my nails, I tried to do it myself and of course looks like poop. But yeah, so Daiso, I got this from Daiso and they sell this for about like $1.50. And this is called felting wool. And what we do is it actually when it's in the package. your keychain, eyeballs, and a ring loop here, it looks like. Or maybe like a nose. Why are there so many eyeballs? I don't remember. I haven't done one of these in a while, but... Alright, we'll let's put that there. And then it comes with the felting wool colors that you'll need, which for a panda is just black and white. Okay, and then it also comes with these of instructions. Since everything's in Japanese, um, it has pictures, which are really helpful. What you can do is just kind of open them up. It'll show you everything you need. It will show what it came with and step-by-step -step instructions. So I'm going to put the instructions on the side so I can take a look. Okay. Alright, it looks like the black felting wool should be separated into three sections. Relatively equal sections. Okay. I'm going to put that Over here. Maybe over here it's easier to see. So the instructions say separate the block into three sections. Okay. So this is like my first attempt at an ASMR video. If you don't know what those are, it's some kind of like sensory stimulation video where it just makes people feel good, it's relaxing, it's, you know, stuff like that. And since people always complain, they can never hear my voice, they can't hear what I'm saying, hopefully um, this will... Okay, looks like we need three sections of the white. So, there we go. I'm just gonna basically just pull it apart. sections but I think then it needs like a little a three relatively equal sections with the white it's kind of hard to make it equal but I'm also doing and then he says it needs one leftover chunk so here's my leftover chunk here are my three sections of the white. What I'm gonna do is just tie this into a knot. So I have like a rough little ball. Let's just take this needle out. Hmm. 
wonder if I should turn on the lights because I'm quite blind. And this can be painful. I'm going to move the two white sections off to the side here just so we can get a better view. And you basically just start stabbing the crap out of this felting hole. You're going to try to shape it into um, like a circle. You do that just by stabbing and rotating and also just stick stabbing the edges in. Stabbing is like such a non-relaxing, stressful inducing word. So let's say poking. Poking is sounds friendlier. Okay. You know who would have like a really good voice for um ASMR? It's that one dude, what's his name? The painter, Bob something. And he just like paints trees and like bushes and stuff. His voice is like super relaxing. So if you hear like the needle hitting the plastic like that, it's because I don't actually have like a felting mat. And basically what that is, is just a dry kitchen sponge. But if you don't poke um, all the way down to where it hits, it won't make so much noise. So this is like a new filming setup that I'm trying to, I don't know where the center of my screen is, so I'll try to just center it for you. If this ASMR thing turns out horrible, I'll probably just like put a song over the whole thing and do a voiceover. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyways, last time I made one of these, I think I made like a dog. And it took me probably like eight hours. I also made a bunny. These are like just really relaxing. So what happens is the needle has like little tiny ridges in it. I don't think you'll be able to see it on camera, but there are like little ridges on the bottom. And the wool is so fluffy and the fibers are so thin that when you poke it, it actually tangles the fibers and kind of like weaves it as you poke. And when you weave it, you're kind of like weaving everything together. It makes it more solid and it actually kind of feels like a sponge. I believe like they have sets in Japan where you make your own like dishwashing sponge and they're made out of felting wool so you can actually use this as like a keychain you can use it as a sponge but these are so cute like you would not want to get them wet there are ones where you just make into like a thick square and you just make it into a sponge but those are a little bit more boring and not as challenging so um i actually can't see that well, so I'm looking at my camera screen because it filters light better than my eyes do. And you may ask, like, have you poked yourself because this needle? Let me see. Where is it? Here it is. It is. Ow! <laughs> Ow! I just did it. So far, I haven't drawn any blood, but yeah, it does hurt. So what I'm doing is I'm rotating as I go, uh, tying it into a knot in the beginning it will help just kind of form the ball shape and you're going to want to, I mean, depending on how fast you want to poke, this little panda's head will be how fast it takes to form. To a ball. I hope you don't mind the pitter patter of my puppy's paws. They are super cute. I'll show them to you in another video. Also, my dog likes to snort. 
so that's not me farting, that is baby Nala snorting because that's what she does, she snorts, she sneezes sometimes I wonder if she has a dog but she's super cute, she looks like a little unicorn so usually like when people do ASMR they're like whispering and like I get it, some people find whispering like really relaxing and then some people find whispering really creepy so my husband finds whispering really creepy he gets like freaked out if I whisper in his ear so <laughs> I'm gonna try to go kind of like in between with my voice just um, speaking softly to most people will probably sound like a whisper but to me this is not whispering um, if this is like too loud for you, just let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll try to do an actual like ASMR whispering video it's just like, you know I don't know, it's a little weird but I get it though it is, it can be relaxing, I do get it okay, so Sometimes you're going to want to poke at an angle instead of just up and down because you're going to want to kind of shape the face. The nicer shape you get- Ow! <laughs> that hurt. The nicer your panda face will be. I've always loved pandas. It's like, they're so cute and fluffy looking, but they're also like very um, protective of their loved ones like if you don't bother them or um, do anything to them any harm or ill intention they'll just kind of be on their merry way and they'll just like leave you alone but if you do mess with their loved ones or with them and for some unknown reason they can be very vicious and very violent and they will dominate you in any fight and I've always related to that because I feel like it's like pandas are my spirit animal like I'm a big panda they seem lazy but when it comes down to it we can hold our own you know we could do a lot of things so like a lot of things that are like cute people underestimate but pandas are definitely one that you should not mess with um, so now you see it's kind of turning more into a ball if we look at this so we basically turn this like really fluffy cotton candy it looks just like cotton candy feels like cotton candy it does not taste like cotton candy um i don't know that for sure but i've not tasted it but i'm pretty sure wool does not taste like sugar so do not eat them um if you are doing this with a child or um, if you're young, make sure you are safe of anything. You can always use like silicone gloves or have um, your parent or someone help you just do the poking part. Then again, that's like the whole point of this activity. So maybe I would say this is probably safe for like ages 10 and up. I don't know. It really depends. So right now, I'm just trying to perfect the roundness of the head. You can always make it bigger too, I feel like. Is this too small? It's not perfectly round yet, and I'm not getting enough light where I am. Oh yeah, when if you hear snoring, that is my other dog, Pigeon. Uh, they both snore, but he's bigger, so he snores louder. Snoring can be relaxing too, can't it? Like if it's like rhythmic snoring, and kind of lull you to sleep. But if it's like sleep apnea snoring, oh god, that is not relaxing. But yeah, my fur babies snore. Sometimes I like snore battles. Ow, poop myself. And it's super cute. So 
So when you buy these kits, um, felting wool, I've looked on Amazon, is actually like pretty expensive. And if you just go to like the dollar store, Daiso, Japanese dollar store, it's actually a lot cheaper to just buy a kit, even if it's something that you don't want to make. Like, like let's say this panda, for instance, you don't like pandas, you don't want to make a panda. Um, but it has like the fundamental colors to make like anything else. So, which is just black and white, so you can make like, you can just shape things and make it into whatever your imagination can come up with and it'll save you a buttload of money. So like with this kit, I could have made like mm, a bunny, could have made a snowman. I mean, you can make these as gifts, you can make these just to collect. It's actually like a really good uh, meditation, relaxing tool. So. I definitely recommend giving it a try once, like, when I first saw these, I was like, man, whoever does these must have, like, a lot of time on their hands, but it actually, it's very relaxing, almost like, you know, raking sand in those little miniature, like, rock gardens, Japanese rock gardens. This is another thing where you get to, like, use your hands and quiet your mind. Definitely worth the dollar fifty that I paid. So anytime like you see a space that is a little fluffier than the rest, you want to just kind of poke that a little extra and shape it because you want it to be evenly textured. Now this is going to be like a long video because most people when they show this kind of craft like they'll fast forward but I don't know ASMR is all about like talking and relaxing so it takes time to quiet your mind and just kind of focus on the person's voice or what they're doing, the noises so I may not fast forward this part. Like I've always wanted to do DIYs, it's just I never had like the right camera set up. And so now I'm trying to experiment with a new setup and hopefully I can do more crafting videos and DIY things. Since, you know, I am the DIY ninja after all, but so far I've just done, like, makeup videos, it's a lot easier to film. DIY things are actually quite hard because I have to, like, look at what I'm doing and also look at where I'm filming. Just move these over a bit. So. I don't know if you can hear, but there is like a sp dry sponge texture happening. Listen. As if you were poking into dry sponge. So that's when um, you'll know you're getting close. Okay, so I'm going to take some from the other white pieces and I'm just going to wrap it around what I already have just to add to the depth. Add to the head of this panda. Because, I mean, you don't want a panda with a small face and big ears, do you? Well, you might. You know, what it started with, which is like cotton candy. Looking real good at this point. Um, as far as I can tell, it's n it's not perfect, but there we go. We got this nice little face. Okay, okay, it's rolling away. <laughs> so I'm just gonna work a little bit more. Alright, so 
Paris the Head.